Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 FPS series. In today's video we've got something really interesting for you guys, we are going to be showing you how to make your gun shoot a projectile. Now the, base, uh, the basic type of system that we're using for this is just a projectile based system, we're not working with ray casting or anything like that. The reason why I'm choosing to use um, this projectile based system simply because it's more realistic, we can easily add um, gravity effects and all that kind of good stuff but anyway guys let's go ahead and get started and get our weapon firing so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to have to create another class this blueprint class is essentially going to be our projectile so we need some kind of uh, bullet now if you guys wanted to you could go ahead and upload a model for that you can add some particle effects for that it's not something we're gonna be doing in today's video we're just gonna be getting a basic capsule and shooting it out of our weapon so right click in your content browser create a blueprint class and make it of type actor. Name it projectile underscore base. Once again the reason why I'm using this as like the base one is it's just a simple, a simple projectile. You might want to create different types of projectiles for different weapons. For example this projectile is going to be sort of average speed because it's for an AK-47 whereas if it was to have a sniper rifle the bullet for that would be much much faster and you'd probably have a little bit less fall off so it doesn't have as much gravity affecting it. Anyway, so first thing that we need to do is to be able to see this. So what I'm going to do is create a static mesh and then the type of mesh that I'm going to be using on the right hand side in the details panel, go ahead and set that just to a capsule for now and the one that I'm going to use is just a narrow capsule. Now this looks sort of like a bullet so I'm just going to work with this for now, that is pretty much everything I need. In terms of scale, this is going to be way too big when we shoot it, um, so I'm just going to set this to something like 0 0.3 by 0 0.3 by 0 0.3 for now, just to make it a little bit more realistic in size. Now bear in mind you can always change this later on once it's actually firing out of your weapon and you can see it but for me I know this is a pretty good number. Once I've done this I've got to add one more component and that is going to be the projectile movement component. So add it in the top left hand corner just type in projectile and then you'll get it and then add it in. With this projectile movement this is pretty much is what's going to set up the physics for this object. It's going to get it flying through the air and using the details of this projectile movement it is going to allow us to set up some of the things like the speed, the gravity and all of that good stuff. Now there is a whole bunch of different settings that we've got available to us. Um, but the only ones that I'm really going to worry about for now is simply going to be projectile, gravity, scale, and then the speeds. Now, the initial speed for me is going to be 3,500. This is pretty much the speed that it's going to be coming out of the, uh, the muzzle socket. And then the maximum speed is what it can go all the way up to. Now... Basically, because you have a little bit of acceleration in this, you can have it go all the way up to 5,000, but the speed it's going to come out is going to be the initial. Um, but for, for me, I'm just going to want this to be a sort of constant speed, so I'm going to set both of these to 3,500. Now, once again, once it does start firing out and you see this projectile moving, you can play around with these speeds based on what you think is right for you. The other thing that I'm going to do is add a projectile gravity scale. Now, 1 is pretty much no gravity, believe it or not, whereas 0 0.1 is going to be sort of dragging it down just a little bit. Um, I only want a tiny little bit of gravity on this, so I'm going to set this to 0 0.05, and that's just going to add the tiniest little bit. You want it to be realistic, bullets move quite fast and they don't drop that much unless it's a long distance. Um, once again this is a value you can play with once you've got the bullet firing out of your weapon. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to compile that and I'm going to leave it to that. Now the next thing that I've got to do is actually set up the weapon blueprint to actually create a fire event. Now this is going to be inside of my AK-47 so I've got to find my blueprint class for that. For me that's inside of blueprints weapons AK-47 and then weapon underscore base. From here what I need to do is create a custom event um, that I can actually use inside of my third person character. Now the reason why we're creating this custom event inside of here is because I need to be able to reference the skeletal mesh, the muzzle socket they were going to create later on and all of that good stuff. So right click and just type in custom event and add a custom event. 
The name of this, I'm just simply going to call it fire for now. With that, I'm going to drag it out and all I'm going to do is simply spawn an actor from the class. This is essentially just going to be spawning the projectile. So as such, set the class to our uh, projectile underscore base and this is sort of if you had a different weapon with this being the AK-47 if it was a sniper you would just change it to sniper underscore projectile with the different speeds and all of that good stuff so that's all done and now the next thing that we need to do is we actually need to set up the spawn transform now as of right now we don't really have anything for it to spawn out of so what we need to do is actually set up a socket inside of the skeleton for the AK-47. So let's go ahead and do this. Just leave this for now. You're gonna have a little bit of an error until we actually set up that transform. Open up your AK-47 model and then go into skeleton. And then inside of here, what we need to do is actually create another socket. Now we haven't got any at the moment at all. This is basically a static mesh, but I've converted it into a skeletal mesh. So let's add a socket. So go to your skeleton tree on the left hand side right click and then from here just go ahead and add a socket and give this the name muzzle now this muzzle is going to be obviously moved all the way to the end of our rifle and we're going to be using this to spawn the projectile this is where the projectile is going to be coming out of we don't want it to be coming out of say the barrel the stock or anything like that just at the very very end you can have it outside at the end like this and that's gonna work good for me. Now, we're also gonna be using this for our muzzle flash later on to make it pop, to get that little flame that comes out the end, which is quite nice. Um, so I'm gonna try not to have it too far inside. I'm gonna have it sort of just at the base of that little circular ring. Now, bear in mind, we are gonna to have to rotate this later on because um, with the rotation of the socket, it's gonna be a little bit off, but it's not something you can really tell until you're firing, but that is the location that you want for now. Once you've done that, Go back to your weapon and just go to your weapon underscore base and then inside of here what we need to do is get a reference to the skeletal mesh and then from here we need to get the socket transform and what this is pretty much is going to and what this pretty much is going to do is get the location the rotation and the scale of that socket and that's what we're going to be using to spawn that projectile from so instead of manually creating these location values instead it's just going to get this socket value instead now for the in socket name just go ahead and set that to muzzle and now once we've done that what it's going to do is spawn this skeletal mesh at the muzzle if we compile it now there shouldn't be any issues at all so the next thing that we need to do then is now that we've got our projectile being able to spawn and we've got the event for it we need to set up a key binding for this now so the way that i'm going to do this is i'm going to close all of this and then i'm going to go up to my edits and then project settings and i'm going to create an input event and we're going to do it properly so what i'm going to do is scroll down i'm going to go down to input and then from here for action mappings, let's just go ahead and create a new one. And then we're just going to give this the name uh, primary fire. And then for the type that we're going to use on here, you can set up multiple things for this fire. Um, for example, if you wanted to have PC, Xbox and PS4, you'd set up your Xbox One controls. Um, you'd also set up your mouse controls. I'm just going to put my mouse in there for now and that's just going to be my left mouse button so drop that in there if you wanted to add something like a controller so gamepad you would just choose your trigger for example um, right trigger you drop it in there and that will work with your gamepads but for now that is pretty much everything that I needed to do so now that we've got that input set up let's jump into our character which is pretty much where all of our inputs are going to be handled. So open up your character for your blueprint, so your third person character. And then inside of here, if we go all the way over to our event graph rather than the take damage stuff, I'm actually going to close these take damage bits as they are kind of getting in the way a little bit. And now if we right click anywhere and then just type in primary fire, you can see we've got this action event for that. And then with this, all we're going to do is drag this out and then we just get our custom event. Now, as of right now, there isn't really a link to our weapon, so we need to create one. So what we're going to be doing is with this spawn actor weapon base, we are pretty much going to turn the return value 
into a variable so that we can get all the other stuff um, from it. So between this, what I'm going to do is get my return value and I'm just going to right click and, pr and promote it to a variable and then get rid of this little link that we've got here already and get rid of this link here as well. If you want to get rid of a link, just press control click and then just get off of it and it just does it just like that. So drag this over and just make it match up just like that. Now we need to give this a name, so I'm going to rename this to Equipped Weapon. And that is pretty much going to be our reference now to our weapon base, because we can't really cast to the weapon base very easily. Um, but for now this is going to be our link, so what we're going to do with this now is if we get a reference to this equipped weapon and then call um, fire, which as you can see has come up straight away now, we can just go ahead and chuck this in just like that. So now when we press the left mouse button, it's going to fire our equipped weapon. If we compile this, there's not going to be any issues. And if we press play now, you can see um, we've got our bullet firing out of our weapon. It's very quick. You can only really see it on the side of my screen. However, the issue as of right now is it's going off to the side. That's not great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly open up my projectile base. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my viewport, go to projectile movement, and I'm going to quickly slow this down all the way down to something like 400 for the initial speed and 400 for the max speed. Now the reason why I'm doing this is just so I can set up my rotation and I can see exactly where it's all coming from. So if I press now, play, you can see it's coming out just off to the left, um, which isn't great. So what I'm going to do is simply go into my weapon now where we set up our socket and pretty much rotate that socket and that's going to rotate the direction of the bullet where it's going to come out of. So if we go to weapons, AK-47, and then go into our weapon underscore base, sorry, our skeleton for the weapon, so AK, and then inside of our skeletal view, if we grab our socket now, and then using these rotations, um, what I'm going to do is, first things first, I'm just going to try and move it one way, and that's going to be sort of 90 degrees, and let's see, so I'm going to press Ctrl Z to get rid of that, and I'm going to try and keep whole values at the moment as well. So I'm going to enable my snapping for rotation, and then do it, so I'm going to rotate it by 90 degrees to start with, press play, and now it's coming backwards. So now that I know it's actually coming backwards, I know all I've got to do now then is just pretty much rotate it 180 degrees. So what I'm going to do, because it's backwards, is just flip it from the bottom, all the way to the top, so that should be 180. If I go ahead and press play now, I can nice shoot, you can see it's coming out forwards, which is just perfect. That is exactly what I wanted. Um, the other thing that I've noticed is that my projectile is actually coming out sideways. So what I'm going to do is I am going to quickly rotate my muzzle, sorry, not my muzzle, but my projectile itself. So what I'm going to do is simply just lay it flat. So inside of my projectile underscore base, it's going to rotate this and I'm going to drop it just like that, making sure it still stays in the zero value. So right in the center there and right across it, that looks good. If I press play now, when the bullet comes out, it's going straight forwards and that's all good. We've got our projectile, it's looking good, but now all we've got to do is pretty much just set that speed back up to something that's a bit more realistic. So if I go back to my projectile movement, set my initial speed, and let's just go with 3000 and the second one is also going to be 3000 as well. If we press play now, shoot in the game, you can see we've got our bullet firing forwards and it looks good. We haven't got rap uh, we haven't got anything for making it fully automatic, and we haven't got an ammo system in place for now. Um, but this is just the start of our weapon system. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. Stay awesome. Keep creating. Your boy Virtus signing out. This series was made possible by you guys supporting me on Patreon. If you want to help create other series like this, then check out my Patreon page in the link in the description.